Welcome back assassins to some more Hitman with Renaissance Gaming. Today I am going to be doing a ton of challenges in this video. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this episode. Before I give you the list of all the challenges I'm doing, there is something that is kind of time sensitive here so let me take care of this first. I need to take care of this guard. So I'm gonna pop him in the back of the head with some soda pop. And I'm gonna dispose of his body and his gun. Very convenient little spot here. Gonna dump the body and dump the gun. You can throw it on the floor, but I prefer to put it in the trash can here. If you remember from the first episode in Marrakesh here, I told you to keep an intern that patrols this alleyway in mind, and that's because he's going to play a critical role in this episode. If I were to stalk him a little bit, he would eventually receive a phone call, and he will tell whoever's on the other line that Klaus has sent him to retrieve sure. his father's watch. But that's not going to happen because I am going to knock him out Hello? in the back of the head with a soda pop. That's right. Alright. So I'm going to drag his body to the same spot here. I'm not going to dump it just yet. But I am going to get some rat poison over here. I'm going to need it in a second. So the challenges that I'm going for in this episode include Pipe Down, Public Sneaker, Electrofried, Internal Affairs, Piano Man, Back to School, Dismissed, Looking Through Walls, The Scenic Route, Open Sesame, Bathroom Break, The Headmaster's Revenge, and Get the Truck Out of Here. To unlock that first challenge, Pipe Down, you simply have to start in that bar area that I started this video in. So this guy has got a bullhorn and he's getting the crowd all riled up. So I'm going to poison his water bottle. And he gives quite a long speech here. So it gives me enough time to run back and grab that intern's disguise. The reason I didn't grab it right away is because I need this waiter disguise in order to be able to poison that protester's water bottle. Or else it would raise a lot of suspicion. So let me take his disguise, and then I'll dump the body. And let's go see how that protester's speech is coming along. It's quite long, so I think you'll be able to enjoy the second half of it at least. Before he goes and takes a drink from his poison water. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know what I'm cheering at, but I'm gonna cheer anyways and wave my picket sign around. Now check this out, he puts his bullhorn in this magical pocket. Did you see that? I don't know how he did it. it, must be magic. So given all we know about the backstory, it makes me wonder if this guy is on the general's payroll trying to incite civil unrest here all over Marrakesh. We're definitely going to unravel a lot more plot holes in this video and I'm going to continue doing that in future videos here in Marrakesh. But for now, I'm going to follow this guy because the challenge public sneaker involves pacifying him. 
and hiding his body in a dumpster. So he's gonna go be sick conveniently right next to a dumpster, but there are these two guys here having a conversation. So I'm just gonna bump into them. That way they disperse and give me the opportunity to take care of my challenge. Okay, they've moved off, so now is my time. And at this point, the challenge public sneaker would unlock. So it's time to get inside of the consulate. And although I have the intern disguise, most people can see through it in here. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. So first things first, I'm going to grab a screwdriver that I'm going to need in just a little bit. And I'm also going to need a key card to get inside the consulate. And it just so happens that there's one right here. And if you hear some very weird hissing in the background, I do apologize. There's like a cicada stuck outside my window. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, so with the consulate key card, I can have access to the consulate from the parking garage here. Okay, and closed. Man, that cicada is loud. Those things are loud. So I'm going to go around the periphery here and do my best not to get spotted. I am going to have to use a coin though at one point. Wait a minute. Okay, I need to distract those two guards right there. So let me throw a coin and get the hell out of here. Huh. Alright, so I'm in the clear for now. And let me put my keycard to use. So at this point, you have two options on how to kill Klaus, depending on what challenges you want to go for. So I'll do some editing to show both of them right after this little conversation is done. Okay, so the first option you have from this point is to go for the challenge Electrofried. So that's why I picked up this screwdriver earlier. I'm going to expose the wiring on the stage light here. And then I'm going to go around to the control room where I can control the lighting. And depending where Klaus is along his route, it can take quite a long time for him to get to that room. So I might do another bit of editing here until he gets here. Alright, so here finally is Klaus. At one point in his route, he leans over this railing, touching it. But since the wires are exposed, he's in for quite a shock today. So let me turn on the lamp and watch him burn. Get down. Next up, Razor Zaydan. Nice. It's a pretty fun way to kill him. I don't know why that internal affairs challenge popped up. That is definitely a bug because that's not how you unlock that challenge. In fact, I'm going to show you how to unlock that challenge coming up here in just a second. But this is how you unlock the challenge Electrofried. I like watching this guy put him in a body bag too. It's kind of funny. So the other option you have here is to go for the challenge internal affairs. I'm going to drop my weapon here because I'm going to have to be frisked. Ham Kingsley and her people should that have is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. So the way to unlock this challenge is to kill Klaus with the fiber wire while dressed as the intern. Finally, uh, you must be Orlando's intern, Klaus Strandberg. Did you bring the things I requested? Follow me. Lead the way. So I'm going to follow him, but I'm going to go around because there's plenty of people that can see through my disguise here. So you can meet Klaus anywhere along his route with the intern disguise, and then it will set up this meeting over here. So there's another guard right there, so I'm going to go around again. I'm going to go through here.
And Klaus is coming up, but I do need to get frisked before I can enter this room. How you doing? I need to check you out before I can let you through, buddy. And I'm not worried about having been recorded by the security camera because I am going to delete the evidence once I'm done with this. That way I can show you guys where to delete the evidence. Go ahead, sir. And also so I can get Silent Assassin on this run. So I'm just going to blend in here as the intern and have my meeting with Klaus. You have trouble getting into the building? Ah, uh, I never missed that penthouse. Best view in all of Marrakesh. So, uh, where is my stuff? I trust you got my father's watch. What? The cat got your tongue? Are you telling me you haven't gone yet? What the hell's the matter with you? Don't you see I'm in a hurry? Get going right now, for if I'm airlifted out of here and my father's watch ends up in a two-bit pawn shop somewhere, I will personally make it sure intern becomes the high point of your career. We're done here. So it turns out that Klaus had to be rushed here to the consulate in a hurry and left some of his personal belongings behind that he really would like to have with him. So he hired that intern that I knocked out at the beginning of the video to do just that. But now it's time to kill him. And again, if you kill him dressed as the intern with the fiber wire, you unlock the challenge internal affairs. Next up, raise a Zidane. Also, you unlock the challenge piano man for killing any of the targets with the fiber wire for the first time. So those are two new challenges there. So it's time to go take care of the general. But first things first, let me go delete the evidence since I was spotted by a security camera and I do want the silent assassin. And what I'd really like to do is silent assassin that cicada outside my window. Because I have a feeling I'm going to hear it on this video. But whatever. So I'm going to put this disguise on. That way I can get out of here. I'll still get my pistol that I left here earlier. I'm not going to need my pistol, but I don't want to leave it laying around. So you can't get out with the intern disguise because pretty much everybody here on the first floor will see through it. So I'm going to turn on this cop here. That way this guard comes to investigate yes, that and I can safely delete the evidence. So it's time to head into the school and take care of the general. Hello, sir. So this time around, I'm going to use a very interesting opportunity to infiltrate the school and get some good kills on the general. gotten pretty familiar here with the streets of Marrakesh and again the more you play this game the more you like it it's really growing on me this level so I'm gonna take this wrench real quick and then I'm gonna listen in on this conversation for an opportunity doing well thanks for asking he's upstairs right now working on this novel of his some kind of political thriller I think you know airport lit oh that's nice so he doesn't miss the old school well he was headmaster for 30 years Master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? It doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. And maybe my carpets are magical. Oh, give your old man some credit, Marwen. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, gotta run. See you around. So it turns out that there's a master key that opens all the doors of the school. And the headmaster is right up here. But I might do some editing because he pops his head out here sometimes. So I'm going to wait for the right time. See, I told you he pops his little head. So if you go too soon, you'll get spotted. So I was just waiting for the right time. And let me throw this wrench at him. 
that is the headmaster of the school. So let me get my wrench, pick up the headmaster's key, the master key to the school. Once you pick up that key, you unlock the challenge back to school. Also going to take the headmaster disguise because I'm going to need it for a challenge. So right through here is a pretty convenient way to infiltrate the school as well. Right, let me wait for this guard to turn around and then I'll go right past him. Very good, and take note of this vehicle here. This is actually going to be my escape route this time around, but I need to get a key for it. So once you unlock the store with the headmaster key and go in, you unlock the challenge Open Sesame. You're in. Good work. Now to locate General Zaydan. So I'm going to take this guy's disguise for now. That way I can infiltrate the school, not have to worry too much about being seen. So there's a challenge to look through all the peepholes here in the school. So the first one is going to be right here. And let me wait for the right timing to do this part. Okay, so I think the timing is right now. Because I have to knock out two guards over here in this next room. So again, there are five peepholes and that was the first one. Okay, so I'm going to knock out this guy and his little friend. And let me get rid of the bodies and the weapons here. So the challenge to look through all five peepholes is called looking through walls. And then I'm going to take this guy's disguise as soon as I dump him here. This is a military officer disguise and once you put it on for the first time you unlock the challenge dismissed. So there's another challenge to look at these little drawings of kids here on the walls. Once you look at one of them you unlock the challenge the scenic route. However you have to look at all of them for another challenge called the headmaster's revenge. So let me work on that right now. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. So here is the second peephole. Lieutenant, status report. Sir, the troops are all in place. Ready, willing, and able. Very well. We wait until the looting starts, then we roll out the tanks. No. The crowd storms the consulate, and Crystal Dawn takes the blame. After which, we trigger similar cells in Rabat and Casablanca to create a domino effect. By tomorrow, it should be painfully that the government has lost control of the riots. And, as the Director General, I will be very heavy on, of course, do the only responsible thing and impose martial law. I should be president by Friday. So, I trust your wife's operation is without complication. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. We take care of our own, Lieutenant. As you were. So getting more aspects of this storyline here, it's always fun to witness these little conversations and really fill in the gaps of each level. It's my favorite part of the game. Besides elusive targets, those are just way too much fun. So there are more kids painting here. I don't know how close you have to get to them for the game to register that you saw them, but I like to kind of zoom in on them. So there's one guy in here that can see through the disguise, but basically it's only him and the general that can see through this disguise. There's some more kids drawings right there on that wall. I'll get closer to them in a little bit. But I'm just waiting for this guy to turn around so I can leave this room. So let me come in from this side because there are two things I want to do here. Number one, look at the paintings on that wall that I showed you. And then also grab this key for the vehicle that I showed you that I'm going to use to escape. So let me just zoom in on those real quick, just to make sure it registers. And I can't go that way because there's another officer that would actually see through my disguise. So 
I don't really want to go in there. There's a peephole right here, so let me come in and see this. Okay. So that is the third peephole out of five. So there are plenty more children's drawings around here. So let me make sure I try to register all of them. Again, looking at all of these drawings is for the Headmaster's Revenge Challenge. That challenge says that you need to look at all of these pictures and kill the general while dressed as the headmaster. You do have to kill the general dressed as the headmaster, but you do not need to look at the drawings as the headmaster. So let me climb down here. There are paintings on those two walls as well. You can see two on either side. Or one on both sides. And here's the final people. wasn't supposed to have been at the prison transport. But you know what they say about this. And he died for a cause. To line the pockets of your mysterious backers. I didn't say it was a good cause. Right, right. Well, this was lovely. Now please leave. That's it? No threats? No, I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Reza. Oh, I will kill you. If it's the last thing I do. So with this final peephole, that unlocks the challenge looking through walls. And you may be wondering what's going on here, but I will definitely explore the plotline of that prisoner in a future episode, so stay tuned for that. So I've looked at all of the children's drawings, so I'm ready to finish up the challenge at the Headmaster's Revenge. And a cool thing about this military officer disguise is that you can dismiss some of these soldiers like you just saw me do. So let me go put on the headmaster disguise for the challenge. And it's time to kill the general. Gotta be a little bit more careful this time around since I am trespassing. So those two guys are badmouthing the general and I just turned on the intercom behind them so that everybody can hear them doing that. And I'm just gonna hang here for a second. Because the general's gonna come up here actually. And he can see those two soldiers bad-mouthing him because there's a hole on the ceiling right there. So he's looking directly down on them. So they're about to get into big trouble. The general is on his way down there. And that gives me an opportunity to set up this kill. Didn't hear Just be cool. And you can guess what's coming. So, yes, I am going to kick this toilet on top of the general. That will unlock the challenge bathroom break. Nice. Very fun kill as well. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. So that does count as an accident kill, therefore you can still get Silent Assassin this method. And also, it didn't pop up right there for me because I've already unlocked this challenge, 
But after you've looked at all the kids' drawings and you kill the general anyway, dressed as the headmaster, you unlock the headmaster's revenge. So there's one final challenge here, and that's to escape using this vehicle that I got the key for. That unlocks the challenge. Get the truck out of here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you next time.